Welcome to the second episode of the fifth series of Georgia and Arthur. Alright viewers, now you may remember the all the Kipper books that I've read to Kipper, Preston and Arthur from, from past years. Well, after a couple of years, I'm finally going to be reading Arthur and Preston this book, The Blue Balloon. Yeah, because you see, it features Kipper in that one. Yeah, because that, that was when Kipper was a little puppy back then. Yeah, with a boy. Ah, that's his owner, by the way. Ooh, but I'm pretty sure Arthur and Preston will love it. Right, I must well call up on Arthur now. Arthur, come over here, please. Oh, all right, come in. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Come on, viewers. Wave back to Arthur. Well, Arthur, um, have you heard that we're going to be? I'm going to be reading you two, um, the, another Kipper book, but it's not a Kipper book. They just keep running out of it. Just don't know. Ooh, no, original Kipper. Uh, well, I thought we don't normally well, have Kipper stories. Ah. But we do have Kipper in this one. Look, see that here, Arthur? That's Kipper as a little puppy with his boy. Oh, so that's the original Kipper. Yeah, yeah that's right. As I was a little... Great, then I thought Kipper doesn't normally exist. But it did on this one. Ooh. So will Preston Pig love it? Yeah, I'm sure he'll love it. And besides, well, I think he had never seen uh, the blue balloon before. I mean, after all, uh, Arthur... Kipper was some Preston's old friend. Ah. Oh. Alright then. Well, I must well enjoy it. Call up a Preston then. Oh yeah, with pleasure, Arthur. Hey, uh, Preston, come over here, please. Alright. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I'm Preston Pig. Ooh. Ah. Uh. Hello there, Mr. Buxton. Oh. Hello, uh, Mr. Pig. Oh, oi. Don't you call me Mr. Pig. Right, I'm going to find myself new that. Psh. Ow. Oh. Preston. You naughty pig. Ha. <laughs> All right. <sighs> Never mind, Preston. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, Preston, I'm going to read you two this book. Now, do you remember looking all the Kipper stories that you've just looked in the past? Yeah. Well, after a couple of years of waiting, I'm finally going to read this book because I bought this book from Dorchester. From Dorchester. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, it's not from the library, is it? No. Just the Dorchester from the charity shop. Oh. Okay. Look, why am I supposed to sit next to um? Oh. And then I shall begin the story, and it's called The Blue Balloon, featuring Kipper as a puppy. <sniffs> the day after my birthday party, Kipper found a soggy blue balloon in a garden. It was odd because the balloons at my party were red and white. I blew it up. Now, see that balloon there, uh, Preston? Yeah, that is a big blue balloon, because that was the one that uh, your old friend Kipper had found. Oh. And I see there's the uh, child blowing it. Uh, yeah, that's right, uh, Preston. It sure is, because it'll get bigger and bigger by the moment. Right, and here we go. Now, at first, I thought it was just an ordinary balloon. But now, I am not so sure. And look at that, uh, Preston. That's Kipper getting some noises from the balloon, because the boy was just doing it. Oh. I see. It is shiny and squeaky, and you can make rude noises with it. What? What rude noise? What? Is it this? <laughs> ah! Yes, Preston. That's sort of a rude noise. Oh. Uh, anyway, what sort of noise? Uh, is it this? <laughs> yes, Preston. That's the sort. Oh. See? And if you give it a rub, and you can stick it on the ceiling, just like an ordinary balloon. But there is something odd about my balloon. It doesn't matter how much, how much you blow it up. It just goes on getting bigger and bigger until... Now, if I can show you the other pain... Oh, excuse me, yes. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. Oh, dear. See what I mean, Preston? That balloon is getting a bit too big. Oh. Okay, then. Well, yeah, well, I'm glad you enjoyed that story so far. Right, let me see if I can put that back. Ah, there we go. You see, it never ever bursts. Never ever. What? Never ever? Never ever ever. Never and never and ever. For never ever? Never ever, never ever, never ever, never ever. Never, 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 never
Never, 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 never. All right, Arthur, shut up, you. Oh, I. I'm fat. I think you deserve a big slap. At this time, I'm gonna carry on saying never, never. Here we go. Never, 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 never. Arthur, stop slapping me. Stop slapping me. Oh my god. I didn't mean to say never, never. But that's just a part of a story. Oh no, it's not. Yes, it is. Stop. Stop that losses, bro. <laughs> oh, why is Arthur always getting into trouble like that? <clears throat> Dirty boy, or should I say, Dirty Never Never Land? Dirty Never Never Land? Uh, hang on, what's Never Never Land? Uh, that's just the way of perfect of Peter Pan lives. Oh, <laughs> but also, you're a Dirty Never Ever Boy. What are you? Dirty Never Ever Boy? Yes, you flurner! I don't know why you keep slapping me. Oh, that would be back on the brand new series, you don't. Sorry, George. <sniffs> oh, that's okay, Arthur. Well, I know you like to make jokes. Hey, I don't mind the jokes. Yeah, it's all right. You can get up now. Oh, um, oh all right then. Here, I'll get you now. All right. <sniffs> right, here we go. Now, as I was saying, <laughs> Fry was rudely interrupted by your shenanigans. You see, it never, ever busts. Never, ever. I have squeezed it, squashed it, and whacked it with a stick. Oh, oh, he shouldn't really whack it with a stick, because otherwise the blue will go pop. Well, I know, but the blue blue has strange powers. Because oh, it never, ever bursts. Oh, yeah, I knew that. I have kicked it, run it over, and stretch it. And Kipper has attacked it, but it is indestructible. I think that my balloon has strange and wonderful powers. The other day it disappeared completely, and when it came back it was square. <gasps> Ooh! Oh, I didn't know the blue blue was gold first, and then the blue blue came back. A square shape! Well, that's a bit unusual. Well, I know it's a bit unusual, because blues are normally round, like, like that one in the front. But not square, no. And Kipper was very surprised. Oh, all that he's got is an iconic face. Ah, uh, yeah. Before he was under the big dog. And this morning, while I was taking it for a walk, now if I lift that flap, it decided to take to take me for a fly. Uh, look, see, there's the the boy and the dog were having a walk. And then when the blue tried to lift the boy up, and then the blue grabbed the boy, and the Kipper has to grab him by the leg. What, it's just to help him to get down? Yeah. It took me up, and up, and up, oops, and finally down. Oh, the, see those aliens there? That's where they, that's where they been, because it's like going over to Mars or Venus. Oh. And see, Kipper got to know the orange alien, because Kipper was friendly to him. It was quite a trip, but we were back. But we were back in time for tea. Oh, that, see that here, Preston? That's the boy having sausage, chips, and beans. Ooh, sausage on oh, oh, crumbs. What have I said? Hey, don't worry, Preston. I know you don't like a uh, pork, but uh, it's just that's what the boys have. Oh, and see that kipper there? He eats dog food. Oh, that's better. So, if you find a soggy old blue, whatever you do. Don't throw it away, especially if it's a blue one. You never know what it will do next. Oh, that, see that here, uh, you two? This blue balloon has turned into a multicoloured blue. Really? Really? Yes, you two, it is. Ooh. And there you go, uh, you two. That was the story of the blue balloon. Wow, you two, did you two enjoy reading? Did you enjoy that? Yeah. Yeah, well, I'm glad you enjoyed. Uh, what's your favourite bit at present? Well, my favourite bit on the blue blue was Kipper the dog. Yeah, because I heard that the lovable Kipper appears as a puppy. Uh, yeah, that's right. Just like we saw on Kipper's Little Friends. Oh, yeah, I remember that story very well. Even the ones with Preston Pig on it. Uh, yeah, especially if it's gold and wee. But well, boy, Preston, we've come away from stories so ever since your old friend Kipper passed away.
Ah, uh, yeah, I know. Well, I need to got some new friends, haven't I? Well, I know you have. Right, you know, now you can leave us to it. Very well. Well, bye-bye, viewers. See you next time. Goodbye. Woo! And bye-bye for me, Arthur. Way. And bye-bye for me, George Buxton. Bye-bye, everyone. See you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Oh, and see you on the Christmas special, which it'll be the third episode, by the way, in which George the Green Bear still gets grumpy after what happened on the November Bear Christmas special. Hello there everybody, and welcome to another epilogue. Now, don't worry, we've finished the Roasted Jim video from last time. Well, we're moving on to one episode of the new Magic Roundabout. Ooh, because I don't think me and my son have never watched it before. <sighs> Would it be good? Yeah, of course it'll be good. But right, you get to see a different logo this time. Ooh, I wonder what's all. Ah, what's this? Uh, that'll be the Channel 5 logo. Ah, what you mean, the Channel 5 video logo? Yeah, that's right. I'd see. It's gone away. Oh. Oh, I see. All right, you two. Right, the program will begin in just a few minutes. Okay. Okay. Oh, what's this? Magic Roundabout, Volume 1. Oh, are we watching that today, Dad? Yes, son, we are, because George Buxton has rescued another video type. Oh. Okay. Uh, are we allowed to have one episode? Uh... What do you think, George? Are we allowed to have one episode? Well, you can have two episodes if you like. I mean, this is the epilogue. Oh, okay. Oh, look at what say. Ah, so I see that's all the kids are um, all on a magic roundabout with Mr. Rusty. Yeah, that's right. The one who controls the roundabout. Ah, I see. I, Google, uh, George, uh, can we describe on... Um, who are the characters then? Well then, uh, you two, that's Dougal, the famous dog that we all know and love. Ah, oh, what you mean the one that goes, <gasps> Yes. And who else is that girl? Uh, that's called Florence. And as for the, um, for the red face, yellow jacket, and the spring on the legs, that's Zebedee. <gasps> Zebedee? Oh, well I thought it was Zebedee Doodah and Zebedee Yard, eh? No, it's Zebedee. You know, the one who always says, Time for bed. Oh. And I'm sure you'll see some other characters in this video, uh, you two. Okay. Any minute now. Any minute right what? What are you looking at? Yeah, what are you looking at, Dougal? Are you looking at me? Hmm, said Dougal. I'm waiting for my alarm call. And it should be going off any minute now. Oh. Oh, I didn't know it was an alarm clock. I want to see you keep saying tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. That's the strangest character that we don't know of. <laughs> How weird is that? So I guess that this episode is called The Alarm Clock. Uh, yeah, that's right, you two. It is. Wow. Interesting, that. Uh, what do you think of the other characters? Ah, now what was this snail? Uh, that's Dylan the snail. Dylan? Dylan? Oh, what, is he a snail? Yes. Hello. Oh. Hello, Sir Brian. Have you breakfast yet? Oh, <coughs> Brian? Oh, good bastard. That's not Dylan. That's Brian. Oh, sorry, Minky. I got it mixed up. No, oh, boy, George. Well, I mean, I know you haven't used to watching this video yet. Would it be any good? Yeah, of course it'll be good, Minky. You're in for a treat. Oh. So, that's Brian the Step. Oh, I want to see this. Zippity D. Oh, I'm looking forward to seeing that bit, which no hair will enjoy. Yeah, I'm sure he would.
Ah, now what's this rabbit? Hmm. Well, I don't know what the rabbit is. Oh! Well, that's a bit quick! I will never find out who the rabbit is. Hey, don't worry, Minky. We'll get to that later. Oh, okay. Oh, I think that's the end of the episode. Oh, I think they got special ed credit. Oh, this it says, written and narrated by Virgil Planner. Ah, oh, let me guess. Is it on just Prime Minister? Uh, yes. And originally, it was on a Channel 4 television programme. And originally, it used to be on BBC television. Oh, and it's been created by Serge Dunnott. Serge Dunnott? Oh, I see. Interesting, that. Ah, here we go on another episode. But it's just begun to find out what sort of other characters they got in this video. Wow. Hello, Twix. Oh, Twix? Alright, Minky, right. I discovered that they're all five minute episodes. Five minute episodes? Oh, I didn't know. Mr. Rusty, what are you up? Oh, yeah. Yeah, you're right about Mr. Rusty. It is. So why is he called Mr. Rusty? Ah, because he was the one who was tons on the magic roundabout. Oh! Hello, Dougal, Sir Ronald. Fancy going on a nature ramble? Hi there, hop pickers, said Mr. McHenry. Hello, Mr. McHenry, Sir Ronald. Uh, Mr. Rick Henry? Well, I didn't know if he had another character. Where are the other ones? Do you need one? Ah, well, I'm sure if I fast forward it, I'm sure you'll see some carrots. Now, don't worry, I know we did say that we're not going to see 10 episodes that much, but I'm only going to show you the characters. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think it's that oh, we're interested in finding out what sort of characters are they. Now, and I wonder what is that rabbit? Hey, wow, Sir Dylan. Oh, so the rabbit's name is Dylan, and the snail's name is Brian. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess you've got to go big stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm afraid so, because I never actually watched a match around about very much. Ah. Oh. Uh, alright, George. Um, what's the other character's name now? Ah, uh, it'll be Ermintrude. Ermintrude? Ah, uh, hang on. Uh, is she a cow? Yep, she's a cow. And she likes Brian the Snail. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Well, will I get to see Ermintrude? Yep. And look, see, Dougal and Brian are doing their own Olympics. Really? What? In this program? Yep, in this program. Yes. Wow. Hi, Sir Dylan. I've been working out a theme tune for the occasion. Do you want to hear it? I want to see Dylan. It's very good on a guitar. Well, I didn't know that. Ooh, interesting, that. Hmm. Most definitely. Wow. Alright, daughter. Where is Emma Truth? I haven't seen her yet. Uh, don't worry, Minky. I'll fast fast forward in it for you. Oh, poor guy. Well, I guess some videos are a little bit slow. But are they? No, they're not. Uh, oh, uh, hang on. Is that Emma Truth just now? Yes, I think you might have missed her. Oh, alright. Oh, 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 that's oh, a troop of cow, is it? Yeah, <laughs> look at that. The light jumper is broken. Oh, oh dear. Oh, poop. Well, uh, that was a very good end to Odyssey. There are other boys and girls. Uh, I don't know what the other ones are. Ah, don't worry about them, Mickey. I think we're just going to have to stop the video now. Yeah, besides, I'll watch it tonight. Oh, good. Wow. I can't wait to tell that to the hairbear. Well, I'm sure you can't, uh, no, Minky. Now, do you want to quickly show the hairbear that? Yeah, please. All right, but Do you want to finish the envelope for me? <gasps> yes, please, Dad. Oh, all right, but You get yourself ready. All right. Well, bye-bye, then, viewers. See you next time. Goodbye.
through. All right, George, well, I better go get the herbal right away. Oh, hello, old friend. Oh, hello there, Aunt Minky. Oh, what are you about to put a watching today? Ah, I believe that I am watching the Magic Murder Band because it's got different characters on. Really? Can I watch it with you, Minky? Yeah, go ahead, friend. I'll help you. Oh, thank you, Aunt Minky. Oh. Oh, and hello there, my boy, viewers. So, so, Minky, so, why are you watching the Magic Murder Band? Ah, because I think that George Baxter wants me to show you the characters. And I'll tell you one of them. Okay. Alright, so who's that rabbit to start with, uh, Minky? Well, I believe it's Dylan the Rabbit. Ah, oh, what? Dylan? The lazy rabbit? Oh, I didn't know. What? Well, hang on, is that the one that goes. Eh, what's up? What's up, Pex? <coughs> yeah! How did you do that? Oh, uh, what luck, I guess, really. Uh, I don't know who that girl is. Ah, that's. Florence, uh, no, no. Florence? Well, more like Flo and Flo. Ooh. Go to it? Flo and Flo. Yeah, good one, no, no. Good joke. Oh, okay. Oh, fuck this bad type! Uh, don't worry, no, no. They're different types. Oh. And who's that do ungrateful dog? Uh, that's Dougal. He's not ungrateful. Oh, is he not? No. Nope. Oh, and that's Mr. M M Mr. Wick and Henry. Wick and Henry? Oh, so that's all the characters. Oh, Highland Games? What? Oh, I didn't know they had Highland Games, though. All right, that means it does. What about the other characters that we got? Well, we also got Mr. Sebedee D. Sebedee D? I never heard of him. Uh, hang on. Is that the one that goes boing, 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 and time for bed? Yeah, that's my friend. It is. Ooh. <coughs> I want to see that's a needle. Oh, I get it. Of course, a real genuine fluttering, said Mr. McHenry, is made from dog's hair. Is it, Sir Florence? That's interesting. That's right, said Mr. McHenry. What, said Dougal, well, you're not having one of mine. Dear, there's a friend. Mr. McHenry's trying to take dog hair off him. <laughs> Keep away from me, sir. <laughs> I don't think Mr. Beckham is still chasing me! <laughs> Alright, Minky, but I'm gonna deal with the hair bear now. So, excuse me, that uh, Minky. Oh, oh, God! Hey, the hair bear. Yeah? I'm going to grab one of your hairs. What? Oh, no, you don't! I'm out of here! Ah! Right, excuse me, no, but uh, Minky wants to chase him. Oh, alright! Hey there, there, I'm going to chase you. Ah! Oh no, you don't! Go fight the bay! Oh, oh yes, get the message, please, as I run. I'm gonna grab you. No, 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 no! Ah! Get away from me! Get away from me! You know how to buy hair? Yes, I'm just going to get you! Then you can grab me! You know I'm going to buy all the money! Then I'll buy for a fight! Oh, 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 I chewed the feet back onto the top. Oh, 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 o
your kid, Mr. Sir. If you think all the good... Oh, no. Oh, this is the last time he'll do it. I just a good thing he's not on George. Ow! Joe and Arthur. Oh! Oh, yeah. We... All right, now that. All right, I'll let you sit back there with me, you know. Ah, oh, yeah. Sorry if I had to grab your fur. That's okay. Uh, well, sit about first. Are you alright there, Fred? <sighs> yeah, I'm alright, Binky. Uh, except the fact that I am furless now, because of that evil box. Oh, dear boy, you'll be going back on top, nice and safe. Good. Oof! Well, that's almost as half bad as Mr. Dick Henry used to do. <laughs> Bob Bottom! It's all your fault, you sassanack on a stick. There you are, Sir Lawrence, finished. Thank you, Sir Dr. McHenry. Right, now we can go and play some American Oh, so that's the end of this episode, is it? I'm thinking? Uh, no, because we got a lot of episodes. Oh, oh, that's alright then. But at least I'll get to see Ubertrude, the cow. I want to see that's Dougal wearing glasses. You know, that's my up, Fred. It is. Oh. Alright, Mickey. Yeah, I think I've seen enough now. Oh, okay. <laughs> well then, George. I'm glad that you invited me. Oh, yeah. Mickey invited me as well. Uh, yeah, say thank you to him. Very well. Thank you, Mickey. You're welcome, friend. Right, now, George, can you show the whole map of two videotapes? Ah, uh, yeah, sure thing. Alright, now, right, I'm just going to show you two tapes before you go. Okay, well, I must also do. Oh, right, and I'll go and get it. Ah. Alright, now, right, now, before you go back on top of the shelf, here's two videotapes that I've rescued. And it's Rosie and Jim. Soapy Duck and other stories. Oh, really? Did you rescue that one from Telephus? Yep, I sure did. Anyway, here's a spy at the back. Oh, yeah. So, it's not what Minky and Duck both have watched. Yep, and I'll show you the tape. And see that tape there? That's Splash Soapy Duck and other stories. Oh, and see that um, initials there? That's DZL. And that stands for Dorset Count. County Library. Dawson County Library? Oh, I didn't know. Uh, did they used to sell videos back in the day? Yeah, they sure do. Because uh, in the old days, way before DVDs, even Blu-rays, videotapes, however, were sellable back then. Even if videotapes are for free if they are outdated. Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I think I'll get you back good, you know. Yeah, alright. Right, and the next one, I oh, don't worry about the video tape, no, Beth. It's already in there. And here's the video cover of the new Magic Roundabout. Spy and a back. Oh, that's interesting. Alright, then, George White, I'll leave you to it then. Well, I better say goodbye. Bye bye, everyone. See you next time. Bye. Yay. Alright, Minky, you can finish the epilogue now. Oh, uh, hang on, D do we need to let Bert finish it for me? Oh yeah, I've forgotten. Alright, Minky, you can kind of watch the video then. Okay. Oh. Well, bye bye. See you next time. Alright, but over to you. Okay. Right, I'm gonna find myself up to you now, Mr. Catman. Just get ready. Oh dear. Ouch. Well, that was a bit of a bright tub that I got into too. Yep, then I'm gonna throw back up at you! Woo! Hey! Oh, I thought it was Tom Burns to me, but dead! But, get off! Ah! Ow! Uh,